Hello everybody, watch this video to find out how to transfer files from iPhone to Mac. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Sending data between devices can become a necessity in various situations, be it data backup for important files, moving photos or videos between directories, or just freeing up some disk space on your device. We will explore several methods to transfer files, so you can choose the most convenient and effective way for your particular situation. For starters, let's get your iPhone ready to transfer files to a Mac computer. Here is what you do. First of all, make sure that iPhone and Mac are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. This is necessary to enable wireless data transfer. After that, make sure the iPhone has enough charge left for data transfer operations or connect it to a charger. Check if you have the latest operating system update installed on your iPhone. To do it, go to Settings, choose General, Software Update and install any available updates. After that, check if the AirDrop feature is enabled for iPhone. This will let you send files easily between iPhone and Mac by Wi-Fi. To do it, go to Settings, choose General, AirDrop, and then choose Everyone or Contacts Only. When you have taken these steps, your iPhone is ready to transfer files to a Mac computer. Now that your phone is ready, let's explore several ways of transferring data. The first method to transfer files from iPhone to Mac is to use a lightning connection. Connect your phone to the computer with the lightning USB cable. Make sure that both ends of the cable are reliably connected to respective devices. After connection, iPhone should automatically open the Photos app on your Mac computer and start importing photos and videos from your mobile device. If the Photos app doesn't start automatically, open it manually. Run the Photos app. You can find it on Launchpad or in the Quick Start menu of the desktop. In the Devices tab, you will see your iPhone. Select it. When the device is selected, you will see the list of all photos and videos available for import. Select the necessary files or click Import all new items to download all the contents. When the import operation is complete, files will be placed into the Imports folder. If you need to send both photos or videos and other files as well, you can use the Image Capture app on your Mac computer. This is a standard application designed to import files from connected devices. Open the Image Capture app on your Mac computer. View the list of devices on the left and select your iPhone. When it is selected, you will see the list of all files and folders on this device. Choose the files you'd like to download to the computer and click Download or Download All if you need to get all the files. When the download is over, the files will be available for viewing and editing. Also, such operation can be performed with another app, Preview. You can find it with the Spotlight search or by viewing the list of programs in Finder. File Import from Mac's iPhone As a result, the import window will open and you will see all photos and videos stored on your iPhone. Here, you can choose either specific photos to import or import all files by clicking on the corresponding button. After that, select the folder where to import them and wait until the operation is complete. This is how you can import photos and videos from your iPhone and to Mac computers quickly and easily with the help of such apps as Preview and Image Capture or with the Photos app using a lightning cable. The second method to transfer files from iPhone to Mac is to use AirDrop. 
AirDrop is a convenient feature in macOS that allows you to transfer files between various Apple devices such as iPhone, iPad, and Mac without having to use any cables or cloud services. Before sending files, make sure that Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled on both your iPhone and your Mac. If data should be sent over Wi-Fi, the phone and computer have to be connected to the same network. If you start sending files by AirDrop and then go beyond the coverage area of your Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection, the file transfer will continue via an Internet connection. Make sure that the recipient of your files is next to you and within your Bluetooth coverage. On your iPhone, open the file you'd like to send by AirDrop. Click on the Share icon. In the Share menu, select AirDrop. Select your Mac computer from the list of available devices. Usually, its name or model are shown. On your Mac, you will see a request to accept files from your iPhone via AirDrop. Click to receive or save files. When the transfer is over, the files will be saved to your Mac, into the Downloads folder or to another directory you have chosen. This is how you can successfully send files from your iPhone to a Mac computer with the help of AirDrop feature. This method lets you transfer files without using any cables, which makes the whole process quick and easy. You can choose this method to send large files, for example videos, since the transfer speed is quite high. Another method to transfer files from an iPhone to Mac is to use iCloud. Here are the steps you should take. Make sure you have an iCloud account and it is activated both on your iPhone and Mac. On your iPhone, open Settings and tap on your name in the upper part of the screen. In the iCloud menu, make sure that the iCloud Drive option is enabled. Go to the app which uses the file you'd like to send to your Mac and save this file to iCloud Drive. On your Mac, open Finder and go to iCloud Drive tab on the side panel. Find the file you have downloaded from my phone and copy it to a convenient directory on your Mac. This is how you can transfer files from iPhone to a Mac computer with the help of iCloud. This method lets you sync files between Apple devices and provides a convenient way to access them from any location. Also, you can use iCloud to save your iPhone backup. Go to Settings tap on your name and then on iCloud. Tap on Backup and then enable iCloud Backup. This lets iCloud automatically backup certain data while your phone is charging, locked and connected to Wi-Fi. On the same page, tap on Backup Now. When iPhone data is backed up, some things are not copied. However, if you manually upload your files to Dropbox, you'll be able to manage everything, even your downloaded music which is not included into iPhone backups. And finally, the last method to transfer files from iPhone to Mac is to use third-party cloud servers. Go to App Store on your iPhone and find an app that allows to send files to Mac computers. Some of the popular titles in this category include Dropbox, Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, and others. Install the selected app on your iPhone and link it to your account if necessary. Upload the files you want to send to your Mac into the selected app, for example, Dropbox. On your Mac, open a web browser and go to the Cloud Storage website or use the desktop version of such storage app. Sign into your account and find the uploaded files. Download the files to your computer using the corresponding options. This is how you can successfully send files from your iPhone to a Mac computer with third-party apps. This method can be used when you have no cables available or if you prefer to use cloud services to transfer files.
Summing up, now you know several ways of sending files from your iPhone to a Mac computer. You can use a lightning cable or choose AirDrop for wireless transfer, upload files to iCloud or try third-party apps. Each of these methods has its own pros and cons, so choose the one that you find most convenient. Don't forget about the safety of your data and remember to update your software in time, and then your files will always be sent in the most effective way. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments under this video to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.